And uh, Anthony Parlavecchio is not exactly a household name, but he was a major player in some big Wayne County's projects. Today's news involves two of those projects, a new jail and a recreation center. Anthony Parlavecchio was the county's point man on the new jail planned for downtown Detroit, an assignment that could have paid him more than $1.6 million. He got the position in May, just two months after leaving his county post, where he worked under former economic development director Turkia Mullen. Today, the Wayne County Building Authority voted three to nothing to remove Parlavecchio from the jail position because he got it on a no-bid contract. The move was initiated by County Executive Robert Facano. The lucrative job will now be put up for bids and we're told that Parlavecchio will be free to bid on the position. This move today is just the latest in a series of shakeups in the Ficano administration since the seven Action News investigators broke the Turkey Mullen story. And now the other part of the Parlavecchio story. It's been reported that the feds were going to make him pay back some money on a recreation center project in Dearborn Heights. Today, the seven Action News investigators learned just how much money. Earlier this year, the nonprofit Hype Athletics broke ground on a recreation center in Dearborn Heights. Funding came from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. So when HUD learned that former Wayne County employee Anthony Parlavecchio was working on the project for Hype and was being paid $160,000, they recently sent this letter saying it was a conflict of interest and he should not be on the project. Parlavecchio recently left the county where he had worked in the development department under its former director, Turkia Mullen. HUD rules prohibit former government employees from working on government-funded projects within a year of their departure. In addition to the $160,000, Parlavecchio stood to earn another hundred forty grand, according to the county. But the nonprofit hype will be hiring a subcontractor to replace Parlavecchio, whose contract was canceled. HUD called Parlavecchio's earnings from the project undo enrichment. HUD gave the county 30 days to prove that all the money paid to Parlavecchio was returned. The county says it will comply with HUD's orders. Parlavecchio did not return our calls. Scott Lewis, 7 Action News.